Hey, everybody. Well, I think we found a title, Walking a Spiritual Path. So welcome, everybody, to Walking a Spiritual Path episode. I'm Jason Mefford, and we've got Brad Miller. Yes. We don't know quite how we're going to do all the, in the intro and all this. <laughs> we're still working on it. I'm, I'm trying to get some sort of maybe like smoke coming in and like, you know, like, you know, at forward, you know, Coming in at, you know, from Los Angeles, California, Jason met for, you know, something like that, maybe, you know, NBA and, style. And I don't know. What, the Ohio State University, Brad Miller. <laughs> well, we can't say that because I'm not affiliated with that. Oh, you're not. Well, you live in, you live near Columbus, though, but. I, I do, but we can't, there's like not an there's official no affiliation. affiliation. I don't. Okay. okay. I, I don't want to cease and desist letter from them saying, hey, <laughs> we don't want anything to do with you guys because that's what they would say if they listen to us so um yeah so do we start doing intros like you said like smoke and 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 like we're running on the field like we're on a football i, I game think we need to or... get yeah we need to get like the music playing in the background i think i'm pretty sure there's like a jock jam cd uh -huh. that we uh -huh. can find or uh -huh. something we could get going i mean I'm, you're in charge of music for this show so i figured live that, from new york there. it's us, right? <laughs> but it's yeah again yeah i don't know but all right Anyway. Well, people have to keep listening because every every intro is probably going to be different, and they're never going to know that. Maybe that's is, right? well, that maybe that'll be our thing. Yeah. Every time we we start a new episode, it'll be something completely different. So you turn it's like The Simpsons. You turn into <laughs> tune in to see what the introduction is going to be on The Simpsons. So maybe that's what we'll do. Um, so next time, maybe you'll run into the couch or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure worked. it out though. It's worked for them. I think. I think The Simpsons now is the longest running show ever on TV. Probably. Probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, I can't remember a time without the Simpsons being on. So. The Simpsons. Are... Okay. Well, I guess that's not what we're here to talk. <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. It could be. It could be. It is. Yeah. Because um, again, to, you know, with a podcast, you're talking spiritual path. Uh, it seems appropriate. I think that we talk today about what is, a spiritual path what is spirituality and what that means for each of us um you know why maybe we chose that as the topic and how that applies to you as a professional who may be listening um you know whether it's you know lawyer accountant engineer doctor scientist whatever it is anyone that's kind of in one of those professions um you know what is this idea of a spiritual path spirituality so um and I know I've thought about this a bit and have some ideas, but I'm interested, Jason, to hear kind of your take on what does spirituality mean to you as an individual? Well, yeah. And so I think, I think to me, it's going to probably seem a little different than what most people are hearing. Right. Because I, I think most of the time when people think of being spiritual, right. Or a spiritual path, most of the time people probably think of a religion right like a particular religion mm -hmm. a formalized religion mormon catholic baptist whatever right mm -hmm. or a religious practice or theme even that's that's not necessarily a, a formalized religion but something like hinduism or buddhism or taoism things like that right mm -hmm. but but you know, or, or, you know, like a Buddhist monk sitting around, you know, going home all the time. Right. But I think, you know, to, to me, spirituality is not about anything dogmatic, right. It's, it's not about, you know, me telling Brad, well, Brad, you have to follow this commandment or you have to do this thing, or you have to pray this way or else. Right. It's not about that. And it it's ultimately goes back to, again, a deeper uh, belief and knowing. And again, as people are, are listening to this, they're probably sensing that there's something more than just walking around in a meat suit and dying in 100 years, right? You probably feel like we came from somewhere else that we don't cease to exist when our body dies maybe that we've done this more than one time right that we keep incarnating um you know whatever that happens to be right that that most people 
feel like there's something more to life than just what we see from a 3D five, you know, five sensory perspective here, which is what I believe as well, right? And that to me, what spirituality really is, it's, it's about uh, becoming and evolving into a higher level being, right? And that it's, it's kind of like we, we're in school, we come to this world, we live through lots of experiences, we have relationships, we have wins, we have challenges, we have pain, we have bliss, and it's all for the purpose of us evolving into higher beings. Now, there are certain things that we can do, certain practices, certain things that we can do to help us along that path. But to me, it's a path of evolving ourselves to a higher state of consciousness and serving and loving and helping others do the same. And the fact that everybody's path is going to look slightly different, allowing and loving everyone for who they are and letting them follow the path they need to follow and helping them to do that, right? And so that's why, again, as we're going to go through and talk as we go forward in episodes, we're we're going to talk about a lot of different things, right? Because mm -hmm. for some people, certain practices or certain things might really resonate and that might be what lights you up and what you want to do. Other people, it might be something completely different. That's okay. That's cool, right? As long as you feel like you're becoming a better being each day, you're loving more, you're receiving more love, you're helping the collective consciousness of this world and literally of the universe, that to me is kind of spiritual growth and following a spiritual path. Yes, oh, that's pretty, the, pretty yeah. abstract, Brad, but that's kind of where... No, obviously there, we there's a couple it. points there. Yeah, a couple points there that I definitely will want to... I think I want to go into a little bit more here in a minute, um, particularly around the idea of consciousness, what that, that is. Um, and the idea of kind of a better you, what that maybe looks like. Um, but for me, spirituality is, I, I take kind of a pretty basic, you know, straightforward look at it is it's just, you know, looking for something greater than yourself, whatever that may be for you. Um, and it is by, by definition for me, the absence of dogma which you kind of alluded to on your, uh, you know, a second ago is, um, you know, a lot of the religions, the formal religions, and even some of the informal things like that have um, things that you should do that you are supposed to do. There's expectations, these edicts or whatever you, that you want to call them that have been handed down by someone, essentially someone saying, this is what you need to do. That's dogma. Anytime that someone says you need to do this, you sh should do that. Uh, for me, spirituality is the absence of that. There is no person saying this is what you need to do. This is how you're supposed to do it. It's totally individual to you. Um, it's going to look different for one person to another. You know, spirituality for me is going to be different than spirituality for you. Um, it's going to be different than the other. You know, somebody's listening to this podcast episode. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really seeking something more. And I think you can have some religious components into it. I know a lot of people who um, came from a Christian background, Christianity, and they um, meld in this idea of spirituality in that, you know, it's not that you have to be one or the other. Um, you know, you can believe that there is a single God that rules all these things and is in charge of things. Maybe that is for you something greater. You know, you may call it a God. Maybe you want to call it karma. Maybe you want to call it, you know, flying spaghetti monster, you know, whatever you may want to call it, whatever it might be. That is kind of the, the key idea for me, at least, of what spirituality is. 
Um, and, and one of the fun things about this and why, like you said, there's going to, we can have, you know, tons of episodes is because there are just so many components and things that you can put in there for your own individual uh, spirituality, your own individual spiritual journey. Um, you know, it could be, you may get into things like crystals and gems and talismans and things like that. Um, Maybe spirituality for you is more about nature and communicating with the trees, um, you know, or animal communications or, you know, angels. I mean, it could be any of these things. All of these things can be kind of incorporated in the idea of spirituality for you. Um, and so that's, again, for me, kind of a powerful idea is that it can be anything you want. Um, well, I think you know, to me, really too, up to you. Yeah. And I think, too, another thing that I forgot to, to mention that I think is an underlying, you know, it's about, again, from my perspective, it's about us becoming better, evolving and growing as beings, but also in kind of the compassion and love aspect that I was talking about, the realization that we are all connected and we are all the same and there is no better, there is no worse. We are, we are all the same. Right. And so, again, a lot of times, you know, some of these practices or other things like that are ways to remind us to be able to help train us or exercise our soul, if you will. Right. I mean, we're all familiar with exercising our bodies, but a lot of these different things or tools and modalities that we'll talk about. And again, none is better or worse than any other it's whatever you know resonates with you whatever you feel aligned with we'll talk about what aligns with us just so you can kind of get some ideas right but ultimately you've got to test it out but to me kind of that 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 pinnacle is coming back to kind of the some people use the term self-actualization right or or truly becoming aware of self and that that highest level like on Maslow's hierarchy of needs is self-actualization but to me there's even a step above that which is kind of the collective actualization meaning that you know Brad you and I are brothers in a way right we have different parents we grew up in different parts of the world uh but we are connected in kind of this soul collective or the collective consciousness, right? That's a term that, that Jung, Carl Jung used, the collective consciousness. And it's kind of awakening ourselves to the collective consciousness and realizing, hey, I don't have to fight with you, Brad, because if I hurt you, I'm hurting myself. Why? Because you and I are the same. You and I are connected in the bigger collective consciousness. You know, the tree is connected to us. There is a relationship between the plants and the animals and the people and the literally everything that's here that we're all here in this collective consciousness together. And it's about kind of improving our relationship and living in better balance and harmony with everything around us, right? And at that point, when we finally all realize that we are all the same, <laughs> what a beautiful place that will be, right? Hey, no more wars, no more fighting, no more of this other bullshit that, that goes on in the world, right? Because we're all living together in that peace and harmony and love and well-being, but it's not just humans, it's everything. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I think and I know for some of you that might go out there a little too far. So, okay, <laughs> reel back in. I'm just trying to give you a bigger picture of kind of how, yeah. how I, how I see it, how I try to approach it. But then again, take what, take what it is that, that resonates with you and come along the journey with us right right no and that's that's exactly like you know we i'm sure we'll talk about different things how they pertain to us 
um, you know, kind of the way that we think of things, but that doesn't mean that that's necessarily the way it is, that the way it has to be. That doesn't mean that it's what, you know, anyone listening has to go with either. They may say, you know what, Jason, that's a crock of whatever. Um, you know what, we're not connected to the trees whatsoever. Like the tree is just a tree, the rock's just a rock. Um, you okay, know, fine with me. Punch, if that's what you if that's what you want to believe, I'm gonna that's punch fine. you in the face, that's fine, doesn't hurt me at all. Like it's totally, you know, <laughs> hey, but it would um, hurt me independent of that. <laughs> you know, and so you know, I, I don't want people to, you know, I, I want people to understand that they have again to me, spirituality means that you can believe whatever you want. Like, I don't care how you do it, what you want to call it, what you want to bring into it. Um, you know, it's just it's it's an individual journey, but at the same time, it's a collective journey because mm-hmm. it's something that you're going to do yourself, but we're all on that same path together in some poor way or the other. Some of us may be a different part of the path, up a little bit up ahead, you know, kind of a little bit behind. Maybe we're, you know, taking a little bit of a scenic route to get there or, you know, exploring some side paths. And that's all awesome. That's all part of, for me what the spiritual journey is all about is just your, I mean, it's the, the kind of the idea of the importance of the journey, not the destination, honestly. Yeah. And I think I mean, too, it's, you know, again, we'll keep saying this throughout as we're going, but we're not here to tell you what to do or what to believe mm-hmm. or what not to do or what not to believe. Right. We're just kind of sharing what we're doing, sharing what mm-hmm. we know other people are doing right? To be able to help you. But like you said, you know, Brad, you, everybody's got to make their own decision as to what's right with you. And that's fine, right? Do what's, do what's right. Um, what's right for you, mm-hmm. you know, along, along the way. But, but I think too, it's, a, it's a, another point that you kind of brought up there for us to remember is all of us are good at certain things. Some of, you know, some of us are really gifted in certain ways and so it's the spiritual path is also not about comparing yourself to anyone else or thinking you're ahead or you're behind of anybody else it's it's not placing judgment on other people's paths or even on your own path right but it's it's about self-compassion and you know because there's some people in the world that are that are beautiful artists they can paint and make beautiful paintings well i do paint i don't i think they look okay but it's nothing like what a lot of artists that i know do right so Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that i'm a bad person right i mean there's certain gifts that brad has that i don't have there's probably certain gifts that i have that brad doesn't have that's okay that's cool right and Mm -hmm. and and it's okay uh and we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to other people because i think a lot of times too as people start down a path like this they start to feel like oh man i don't know anything i i i'll never be able to do that Um, and they don't realize a lot of times how gifted they are in other areas it's just they see people Mm -hmm. talking about certain things and think well i should i should have to do that or until I can it's comparison. do comparison. Yeah. Until I can do that, then I'm I'm not really doing what I'm supposed to do. But that's no compare it compare to itis. Is that can you say that right? Compare it to anyway. You know what I mean. Don't compare yourself to other people. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, it's it's like you said, it's not a race, it's it's a journey. Um and we all are just kind of headed towards that same path. Um, towards that same pinnacle, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, And it's just how you get there. It doesn't matter when you get there. It's just enjoying, enjoying the route to get there um, and see what you can pick up and learn on the way. You know, and for me, that's a big, a big reason why I wanted to do this podcast is obviously I want to be able to help others who are kind of along this path too, but, you know, for my own sake to kind of learn as I go on this path, um, you know, to see what other things are out there to, um, you know, to get the feeling that I'm not alone out there, even though sometimes it can feel that way, you know, no matter where I'm at on it, there are others out there too. 
and we're all just one foot in front of the other. Um, so hopefully that all makes sense to everybody. For, uh, I mean, it made sense to us in our heads. Um, and that's, again, where the idea of the, the spiritual path came from in the journey, um, the traveling on that path, um, as the title of the podcast came from. So um, hopefully that will resonate um, with with those out there. Out there and um, yeah, and I think I think I that's know. I think that's important. Like you mm-hmm. said too, that it's it's a journey, right? I think I think a lot of times people get maybe discouraged, right? Thinking that oh my gosh, I should be further ahead, um, you know, or 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 you look at other people and think oh man, why can't I do that, right? But again, if you just think about, you know, when you were in kindergarten, did you know how to do algebra? Probably not. Now, did anybody go to that kindergartner and say, I can't believe how stupid you are, kindergartner, for not knowing how to do algebra? No, right? And you would never expect a kindergartner to know how to do algebra, right? It takes time. It takes work. I mean, literally, it would take, you know, I don't know, eight, nine years worth of schooling to get to the point to where you would be doing algebra. And that's okay, right? But you can get there if you want to get there. It's just going to take some time. And it's going to take some self-compassion, you know, in 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 getting to that point. And like you said, your path might look different than somebody else's path. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and a point you brought up, too, that um, that um, is the idea, you know, this is everybody's on their own path. It's not a race there. There's no right way or anything like that. Um, but it is not an escalator. It's not a moving sidewalk. You, you know, you, you are going to have to put in some work to get there. Um, you know, I, and so some of this too is learning what that work looks like. Um, and maybe, you know, again, getting support for it through others that may be um, working through it as well maybe they're doing their own journey through this pathway. So. Yeah, good. It is. I, I use the analogy a lot of times of like doing pushups, right? I can, I can teach you how to do pushups. You can s- learn how to do pushups, but until you do a few pushups every day, right? And again, I'm not, you don't have to drop and do a thousand pushups every day and kill yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. But even doing two, five, 10 pushups a day, Imagine where you would be in a year or even in just a month, right? If you just did a few push-ups every day. And so I think too, as we go further on in these podcasts, we're going to start sharing more things like that, different practices or exercises like doing push-ups, but that are spiritually or soul based that you can do to make that little bit of progress each day. Because we're also not talking about, you know, telling everybody go quit your job and move to Tibet and become a monk, right? I mean, we've all got jobs, we've got families, we've got things that we've got to deal with and things that we've got to take care of. But literally in just a few minutes every day, you can be doing some things that will be helping you in that involvement process. Join us each podcast episode to uh, to do your spiritual push-ups together. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the... I like it. Now I got to go do my physical push-ups. <laughs> you can do mine for me too so while you're there. Oh, okay. so, um... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, I just told any... you that I can't do your push-ups for you, Brad. I'd love to, but I can't. Well, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, well, is there anything else that, I mean, that you kind of wanted to cover here when it comes to the idea of spirituality? I know we talked kind of about what it means to us, why we kind of came up with this idea uh, for the podcast title. Um, I, I think for me, I mean, that's, it's, it's a lot for people to maybe digest right now, especially depending yeah. on where people are at. But, but I hope too, you know, again, I mean, the fact that you're listening to this means that we haven't lost you so far, right? So three episodes in and you're doing good yeah, so far. And you're so. still doing good. So, but reach out to us, right? I mean, we've got our information in the show notes and everything, but, but reach out to us. If you've got questions about the podcast, if you'd like to hear 
you know, specific things or other stuff too, you know, give us some feedback. We can, we can come on here and we can just talk. Right. And, and we will, but it'll, it'll probably, it'll be a lot more valuable for you. Right. If you, if you kind of tell us, Hey, what you're liking, what you'd like to see more of as well, so that we can evolve the podcast. Right. Cause we're, we're, you know, we're always trying to learn and grow too. You see what I did there? I made a funny. It, funny yeah, joke. I did. I <laughs> try not to laugh, but <laughs> see if people I... got that. But but so you know, because again, that's our intention here is to serve and just share what we've done, what's been working for us. You know, answer questions if we can. If you if you tell us what they are, um, because ultimately, like I said, my goal is for all of us right to to live a better life to have more peace and love and compassion in this world for all of us to when we leave this world to feel like i'm a better person when i leave this world than what i came into it right or that i'm i'm better today than i was yesterday and even when you have you know mix up mess ups because some days I don't do so good, right? I mean, but I, but I get this back on track. Episode, and... There's lots of mess ups and whatever. So, and we'll share those too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but awesome. All right. Well, uh, like I said, that's that's a lot. I'm sure for everyone to kind of digest today. So, um, so yeah. With that, I guess probably wrap up today. Um, if if you want to find out more about me, um, I mean that's what the internet's are for. But um, you can find out more about my my law practice at BradleyMillerLaw.com, um, or about the the coaching and things like that that I do working with lawyers at NewModernLawyer.com. Uh, and Jason, you are I think Jason Medford.com. Jason, Jason and uh, on Facebook and LinkedIn as well as are the two social platforms that I mainly use. So. So yeah, and like we said, reach out to either one of us, shoot us questions, tell us what you're liking as well. Um, if you're enjoying this, share the podcast with other people because if you're getting value out of it, they will too. Please do. So. And uh, please, please share, um, you know, the the idea is kind of like you said, the collective idea that we kind of grow collectively and the more people we can help, the more this goes and, you know, rising tide lifts all ships sort of a deal. So Exactly. Exactly. Great. All right. Well, thank you guys all for joining us today. Uh, appreciate your patience with us as we uh, learn, figure out, try to figure out here what we're looking to do with you guys. But uh, looking forward to continuing along the the path with you guys. Uh, and with that, we will see you on the next episode. See you, everybody.